Welcome to this video on how to use Maryland Workforce Exchange Job Contact and Reemployment Activity Log. In this video, unemployment participants will review how they will successfully enter their reemployment activities. Let's get started by logging into the site. There are two locations to access the job contact and reemployment activity log. The first location is through the unemployment services widget on the home screen. From here, click on job contact and reemployment activity log. Here you will see where you can enter or review your job contacts and enter or review your reemployment activities. If you are actively using the system, you will see your activity listed in one of these links. The other location is by selecting the menu bar in the left hand corner, scrolling to services for individuals, clicking on unemployment services, and then clicking on job contact and reemployment activity log. Here you will see, again, you can enter or review your job contacts and enter or review your reemployment activities. To maintain eligibility for unemployment insurance benefits, you must register on this website and complete at least three valid reemployment activities, one of those activities being a job contact. By clicking on the link here, you'll be able to see what is a valid reemployment activity. This screen lists the 30 valid reemployment activities that you can use for your weekly certification. The first list gives the self guided activities that you can do within the MWE site, and the second list includes the staff assisted activities that you can complete. For your job contacts, by clicking on this link, you can see what information is needed for your job contacts. An accurate job contact may include, but is not limited to, registering for work, completing a job application in person or online, mailing a job application or resume, making in-person visits to potential employers, interviewing with potential employers, or registering for work with employment or placement agencies, just to name a few. You must also include the information that is listed here. Now, again, if you are actively using the system, you will be able to see your activity. So as you apply for job contacts, those contacts will be listed here. To enter a new job contact that you may have done outside of the MWE system, you will click enter a job contact. In addition, if you would like to search for a job from here and actually apply for a job in the MWE system, you can click on search for a job. Let's go ahead and enter a new job contact. You will start by entering the employer's name, and selecting the correct location. Next, under contact information, select the initial contact method. and the first and last name of the person that you contacted. Next, you will enter the job title for the job that you applied for. And select the job occupation. Once you select your occupation, the occupation title and occupation code will auto-populate. Next, under application information, 
Select your interest level for this job that you applied for. Next an answer, did you contact this employer? You will now enter the date that you first contacted the employer. You will be able to enter your job contacts and reemployment services in real time. So as you complete your job contacts, as you apply for jobs, and as you complete your reemployment activities, you can go into the MWE site and update that information the same day. Once you have completed all of the required information, click Save. Your new job contact information is now listed here. Now, let's enter reemployment activities. You can get to reemployment activities by clicking on reemployment activities right next to job contacts. Remember, if you are actively using the system, you will see your reemployment activities listed here. However, if you complete a reemployment activity outside of the MWE system, you can enter a new reemployment activity by clicking on this link. Select the activity type. You can also add a description. Enter the date that you completed the reemployment activity. You can also upload any supporting documentation that you have in reference to the reemployment activity that you completed. For example, if you submitted a sign in sheet, you can upload a copy of that sign in sheet here. Also, any documentation that you receive from an employer that you visited at a job fair, you can upload that supporting documentation here. You can also add any additional notes that you have regarding the reemployment activity that you completed. Once you have input all required information, click Save. Once you have input your job contacts and reemployment activities, you can click Return to My Dashboard. Now, this concludes the video on how to use Maryland Workforce Exchange Job Contact and Reemployment Activity Log. Thank you.